hey guys, Callum here from 3D Tomorrow. In this video, I'm going to be showing you master spools, what they are, and how you can use them. Let's go. The master spool is a concept that was proposed by Richard of RichRap a number of years ago, actually. The premise is that it allows you to 3D print a spool, which you can then reuse, and you just order filament refills rather than a whole spool every time. So rather than using black plastic spools or cardboard spools as you're probably used to, you instead 3D print your own top and bottom and then screw it together with a refill in the middle. Master spools were put forward for a number of benefits. Firstly, they're a lot more environmentally friendly because you just use one spool and reusing is always the best. Uh, secondly, you should be able to save some money because you're not having to pay for the spool every time and you've also got a lighter package for shipping, so shipping costs should be slightly cheaper as well. Now I'm going to show you how to set up a master spool. For this you will of course need to purchase a filament refill. Uh, I've got here the 3D Tomorrow master spool PLA, but the process will be very similar wherever you get your refills from. In our 3D Tomorrow refill, it comes in a slightly bigger box because that means that the uh, master spool still fits in even once you've printed it. You'll get a, a refill like this, vacuum sealed with uh, silica gel. It also has reusable spool ties and you'll see why that's uh, useful in a minute. And it also comes with a label that you can stick on the spool just so you know what it is you're getting. I'm going to set this one up with one that I've already opened. So I've got here Smooth Amethyst. You will also need to have printed off a master spool itself and I've added the link where you can download this one in the description. There are loads of different varieties out there so choose one that takes your fancy. First step is take the refill and arrange the cable ties so that they point upwards. You can then take the base of the spool with the cable ties pointing towards it and align the two so that the cable ties go down the grooves in the master spool. Like so. Step two, and this is an important step, you'll need to locate the end of the filament. This here. This piece needs to be slotted down the allotted grooves in the master spool and that just stops it from unravelling, which obviously you don't want. Step three, you then take the lid of the master spool and screw it in place. Now I find that you don't need to screw it all the way straight away because the uh, cable ties themselves will get in the way. So just do a few turns make sure they line up again and then you want to remove the cable ties themselves now this can be a bit fiddly but you will get better at it as you get more used to how the cable ties work and then you can just tighten the master spool up a few more turns now that the cable ties are off then take the other end of the filament and poke it through the space in the master spool's edge just to lock it in place and again stop it unravelling. And the final step is to attach the sticker. And voila, there we have one master spool set up. As I said, this is Smooth Amethyst and I've printed a green master spool. But the really cool thing about master spools is you can completely make them your own. Say your company's color scheme is, I don't know, red and blue. You could do a red base, blue top and make it look your own. Or you could even use up lots of different colors like this one and make it even more environmentally friendly by using up leftovers. As I mentioned at the start, 3D Tomorrow's refills ship with reusable cable ties, so you can actually take the refills back off and you make use of just one master spool, swap and change around as you need. I'm gonna show you how you can take it back off now. Turn it face down and align the cable ties so that they wrap around the outside 
and have the excess material poking up like so. You're going to want to do that for each of the spaces in the master spool. Like so. You can then begin to loosen the top lid. You might need to just sort of wiggle it around to make sure that it can turn free of the cable ties as they're quite thick. Once you manage to get it moving, should be a little bit easier. And there we go. Remove the lid. Master spool falls back off and there you are left with a refill again. So there you have it, that is the master spool concept. If you did enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please put them down below. Sorry I've been a bit slow on content release lately, I have been uh, incredibly busy, but I'm gonna try and get back into at least one video a week. All right, cheers guys, bye.